Good morning, citizens of the verse. Distances in space are massive, and the act of traveling through the verse requires fuel. When your fuel tanks are depleted, you can become stranded, so it's important to know how to top up your tanks. Fuel is divided into two types, hydrogen, which is used for standard flight maneuvers, and quantanium, which is used in your jump drives. Some ships are equipped with integrated fuel scoops to collect hydrogen as you move. If your ship has a scoop, the best way to use it is to get up to speed in open space and tap C to begin coasting. Coasting in space this way will allow you to slowly collect fuel. Fuel scoops are always active, but if you're using your engines, you'll deplete your reserves faster than they replenish. If your ship lacks a scoop or you require quantanium, just head to any landing pad. While on the pad, press F1 to open your mobile glass and click the wrench icon. You can choose a specific amount of fuel or just autofill the entire amount you need. Once full, you're good to go and continue on your way. With the vastness of space, many pilots will find themselves stranded and this is when they may need help. Starfare captains fill an important role in the verse, bringing refueling capabilities to the furthest corners of any system. In a Starfare, you purchase fuel the same way as any other ship, but you'll have access to not only your ship reserves, but the onboard fuel storage tanks. The only restriction is that each tank can only hold one type of fuel at any given time. At this time, you could also head over to the refueling console located behind the pilot seat and set the prices you want to sell at. The automatic function will add a small premium to earn profit, but if you're generous, you can sell at cost, a loss, or even give your fuel away. The fuel console also allows you to take control of the tanks. Clicking the center square will close the tank, Clicking the arrow pointing towards the middle of the pipe will allow fuel to be pumped out of the tank, and the arrow away from the central pipe will pump fuel into the tank. This allows you to consolidate partial tanks into one location, as well as deciding what fuel to flow through the nozzle when refueling. Once ready, you can announce to the global chat that you're open for business and set up a meet. The ship will need to request docking. This is accomplished by pressing T to target you, and then N to send the request. On your side, you need to hold left bracket to accept the docking request. There is a second console at the rear of a ship, but for solo players, the bridge console is preferred. The first order of operations is to extend the boom so the ship can dock with it. The ship will move itself into position to dock. If the pilot is close but having an issue, they can hold N to allow auto dock to assist. The pilot can then open their mobile glass and click the wrench icon. Just like before, they can choose the available fuels and submit their choice. If at any time the pilot or captain abort the process, the used fuel is paid for and the remainder is returned to the pilot. Once the payment is made, you need to then choose the appropriate tank and open it. This means clicking the arrow that points towards the center pipe. Click the button to open the nozzle and use the slider to control the rate of flow. The nozzle has a max flow rate and using a faster one will cause wear and tear on the nozzle, indicated by the yellow bar. Try to balance speed and efficiency over damaging your nozzle. If the nozzle is fully damaged, it will explode and need to be replaced. After refueling is complete, close your nozzle and retract your boom. And that's it! Another happy customer and you've started your rewarding career providing fuel to the masses. Good luck, citizen.